So, at the launch of the iPhone 16 Pro Max to the iPhone 16, will the iPhone 16 Pro Max take back the crown of being the new battery life king this year? Today, I'm going to cover over everything for improvements for the iPhone 16 models, and if we have time to, I'm also going to talk about the release date and price as well. So, let's start with something you may know or you may not know. The iPhone 15 Pro Max battery, for the first time compared to its top rival, so the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, was matched earlier this year, in some cases, on battery drain tests. And in fact, in some cases, the Galaxy S24 Ultra beat the iPhone 15 Pro Max by a couple of extra minutes with its battery juice. So, this time round, Apple really needs to push far here in battery improvement to become the battery life king all over again. So looking at this chart quickly here of battery sizes for the upcoming iPhone 16, does it look like we're getting a 5,000 milliamp battery for the iPhone 16 Pro Max this time? Uh, nope. In fact, if you look at this chart here, and I really cannot be bothered to read out the milliamp battery sizes, you can just read them yourself here, but in summary, you can see here the iPhone 16, the normal iPhone 16, will get an increase of 6% battery life. But then the iPhone 16 Plus will get a decrease of 9% of battery. <laughs> After this, the iPhone 16 Pro will get an increase of 2.5% battery life. And then the iPhone 16 Pro Max will get a mega 5% increase in battery life. So on the face of it then, I'm going to say it again. What the fuck is going on? Let's start with the elephant in the room here. Why on earth is the iPhone 16 Plus getting a smaller battery? I really do not get this. I'm even going to say this, you're probably better off getting yourself a refurbished iPhone 15 Plus in the next year instead of getting yourself the iPhone 16 Plus if you want to have better battery life out of a larger phone but you don't want to buy a pro phone. Then the other iPhones get a measly 2.5% to 6% increase. And with this, how would earth are apple going to claim back that battery life king status all over again with just increasing their battery of their pro models by a maximum of five percent and especially when you look here we already know that the iphone 16 pro and the iphone 16 pro max the actual screen sizes are increasing by about four percent in size well with that there goes your extra battery life to feed those extra few pixels but moving on surely apple have an ace up its sleeve to improve battery life this year well, I think if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to do with the A18 and the A18 Pro chipset and also to do with stacked batteries. So let's start with stacked batteries first of all. So we were told last year that we were possibly going to be getting these stacked batteries inside the iPhone 15 models and it never came to be. Essentially what stack battery does, it actually helps in your battery life longevity. So this is like if you keep your iPhone for a couple of years and you know your battery health goes down to say 80% after two years, this will help prevent that from dropping down to that amount so quickly. Apple have done these batteries before in the past in a MacBook and it may just come to the iPhone 16 this year. But then there is the chip inside the iPhone 16 and this is probably the place where we're probably going to get the most gains in battery life if there is going to be any this year round. Apple could make the chip even more efficient this year, maybe expanding the less power hungry neural engine. If you didn't know what this is, this is the part of the iPhone chip right now and the main thing what I would say you would notice it doing is probably doing sort of locking onto your face with face tracking and also after you take a photo you might have noticed like a second or two later it sharpens it up a little bit. The newer engine's doing all this great sort of work right now. If it is true at WWDC this year we're going to see big AI advantages in iOS 18 then most likely that Apple could even push some of of its main iOS 18 operating tasks into sort of its AI abilities and also onto that neural engine and this could prolong battery life for all iPhones. So what can we take away from this with the battery life for the iPhone 16 models? Are we going to get a massive leap in battery life this year? The simple answer is no. 
But I do believe that Apple will again take that crown of being the battery life king over the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Well, it will be due probably until January next year when the Galaxy S25 Ultra comes out then and it'll probably take the crown back. But there is one device that does have an incredible battery life and it's made by Apple and I'm giving it away at the end of June giveaway and it's this. This here is a MacBook Pro M3 and like I said, I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber at the end of June time. Now, this MacBook Pro is an M3, top of the range chipset, M3 normal MacBook Pro, but it also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and also 512 gigabytes of storage inside of it and that's right i'm going to be giving it away and all you have to do to get in a chance to maybe get your hands on this macbook pro m3 is put down in the comments below of what apple gear what technology gear you're planning to buy in 2024 put it down in the comments below also what you want to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell because i will be doing an announcement near the end of june time to announce what the form what might need to be filled in for this macbook pro and also all the other details about the live stream giveaway we'll be doing for this so do that right now the other thing i just want to quickly mention as well for this international giveaway sadly there are lots of scammers and spammers people still impersonating me right now telling you to telegram or to whatsapp even part with your money for postage this is not me at all so please do ignore them or better still please do report them so moving on let's talk about the release date and i think we might leave the price to another day now i have spoke about the release date in previous videos of mine so yeah if you do want to switch off now you're more than welcome to do that but if you want a quick recap or if you're new here and you want to know all the information about the release date let's talk about it right now so generally speaking Apple like to do their sort of iPhone event around September time. And normally the actual event happens around about the early teens, sort of mid teens of September, that kind of time. And then round about a week later or so, even including inside that week, we actually get the release of the iPhone 16 models. Now, the event will either probably happen on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Now, I know that's a lot of days to pick from, but generally speaking, it's not the beginning of the week sort of time, and this is when we'll have that event. At this event, though, we'll probably also see the new Apple Watch 10, and we'll also either see some other devices too, possibly some new AirPods, maybe even a new iPad as well. But generally speaking, the main focus will be on the iPhones, and this will be the end of that event. So most likely, to get your hands on these new iPhone 16 models, we're probably going to be looking at the early sort of 20s or the late teens of September sort of time we'll be able to get our hands on these brand new models. Next of all is the price but today I'm going to probably skip over it and if you do want to see you know more information about the price do look at my previous iPhone 16 price videos because there's a big conversation I'm having there about why I think the iPhone 16 prices will be increasing this year but do check that out on my previous videos. But with that guys it's time to conclude this video. What are your thoughts about the iPhone 16 battery life, the main focus of today's video? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that too, guys, like I said, it's time to wrap up the video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also at the same time, we hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons. Please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care.